In this video, we'll calculate perimeters and areas of circles. So we worked out the perimeters and areas of other shapes, such as squares and rectangles, and we looked at dimensions that they have. So we're going to do the same now for circles. First of all, perimeter in the case of a circle is called circumference. So circle, circumference, you might, it might help you make the link. And area is the same, so it covers all of it. We looked at length and width before. Now, in this particular case, we haven't got length and width, but we've got a diameter. So, as you can see, diameter is drawn here from one side to the other, going through the centre. And a radius is only half of it, so from the centre to one of the sides. So you can see there are many radiuses if you just draw them all out. There'd be many possible to show, but it's actually the same length. So there is basically one size for the radius same thing for the diameter so radius is half the diameter diameter is double the radius what we're gonna see is um, how to get the formula for the circumference and the area and there is a symbol that we use in both cases and we'll see what that means this is pi so it's this symbol and it's called pi not apple pie although it sounds like that so we'll see what pi means now and i will get a piece of string and i'll cut the piece that is the same length as the diameter of this circle to demonstrate. Now this is not something you're going to be required to do in an exam but it's useful to help you remember the formula. So I've cut a string which is as long as the diameter and I'm going to see how many of these will fit along the circumference. So starting here roughly So we'll make a mark at this point and we'll start from that point again. So two of them already and we can fit one more because there is some more space left that is not covered. So about three, not exactly three, but about three. To be a bit more precise, this is 3.142 and even that is rounded because the digits continue forever. So all you need really is to remember it up to this point. You can see now why that is 3.142 because it actually means how many lots of the diameter fit into the circumference and we'll use that pi for the area as well but first of all since you saw that it was circumference work out, worked out as <sighs> so we'll use this symbol for the area as well but first of all let's write the formula for the circumference you saw that circumference was equal to about three lots of the diameter. But rather than writing this long number, which in fact would be even longer, we're going to write pi. So circumference is equal to pi lots of the diameter. by lots of the diameter which you can also write as 3.142 lots of the diameter so let's use an example if i measured this and it's the diameter is equal to five centimeters then to work out the circumference we'll do 
multiplied by 5, which is equal to 15.71 centimetres. About, so about three lots of five. Now, well, we have this, which is seven centimeters. So the radius is seven centimeters. We are gonna work out the circumference. So again, 3.142 times we must be careful to not do it times 7, but times 14. So, 43.988 centimetres. You may have seen another variation of the circumference formula, which is pi lots of the diameter. But diameter, we said, is the same as two lots of the radius. So we could write it as 2r in here. And the order can differ, so you could have the 2 in front, 2 pi r. So it should give us, in fact, the same answer. So if I just redo this, that's going to be two lots of seven times 3.142, which is again equal to 43.988 centimetres. Now we'll look at the area of a circle. The formula for the area of the circle is equal to pi lots of r squared, the radius squared. So if we think of radius in here, radius squared would be this area. This square. OK, so that's what this is. And this is telling me it's pi lots of them, so over three lots of them. So there is one, two, three, four. And as you can see, there is this space in here which is not covered. That's why it's not exactly four. So it's 3.142 lots of radius squared. So in this particular case, the area is 3.142 times 5 was the diameter, so the radius is 2.5. And we'll have to square that, which is equal to 19.63. 5 we that was in centimeters so we're going to have centimeters squared because we're talking about area and that's an indicator as well that reminds you you need to have squared at the end now we'll use the formula to work out the area of this circle so area again pi r squared and we know that pi is 3.142 multiplied by the radius and radius was 7 centimeters here because this is the same circle so we'll multiply it by 7 squared 3.142 times the 49 So that is equal to 168.658 centimetres squared again, because we input centimetres. This was equal to 7 
centimeters. If it was meters, then we'd put meters squared, kilometers, kilometers squared. So to summarize, there are same symbols used for both perimeter, which in this case is circumference of a circle, and area. So if we just look at this one, so circumference, two lots of pi r, and we write area as pi r squared. There is a two there and there is a two here. There is a pi and a pi. There is an r and an r. I prefer this much better. So when it comes to circumference, that two is in front. When it comes to area, that two is at the top. And you know that area is worked out in units squared. So that helps you remember it. So all you have to remember for this is two pi r for the circumference and pi r squared for the area. Same symbols, but the order of the two changes. So you put it in front for the circumference and at the end at the top for the area. You also have seen what pi means. So that should help you remember it.